Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to go over Replo sections as well as templates. And this is how you're going to really maximize the money you're spending with Replo and just get the most value from it. And it's going to really save you time and really just get you more optimized pages on your Shopify e-commerce store ASAP. And you're just getting a lot more juice out of the squeeze from the work you put into Replo. If you work with an agency like myself, just getting more value from using this app. So to get into it, this is my test account, and this is a sample product page template I've made. I've given this out before as a template, pretty standard PDP product page template. Right off the bat, to turn this into a template, when you have the page here, if you want to apply the same page template to your other products, and you would just have the product section change, because product section, product titles, images as well, it's dynamic infos. So those elements will change based on the product itself. Whereas if you have fact sections, benefit sections, UGC sections, that can all stay the same. It's recommended that let's say if you have 50 products, instead of just making one product page template for all 50 products, break it up by categories or collections just so it makes the most sense for you and your store and your product. So let's say if you've got gummies, for instance, and you've got some sweet treats, the gummies template is going to be a little bit different than the sweet treats templates. You don't want to have just one basic generic page for everything. You want to have one specific for the gummies and then one specific for the sweet treats. All right, so to turn this product page into a template, what you do is you go to the page name here, then you go here, you click the components, the sections of the page, so all laid out. Then you right click, create saved component. You're gonna want to basically now share with others, container, let's say, PDP 3.3, product page template. You leave that as is, create component. Let that load, it's turning into a template. Mm. Component saved. So now we go to product templates. So this is our template section. Now to get that template, we'll go here, add, start from a template. We'll go to shared. And then this one I just added, PDP 3.3. Click that. Sometimes it'll look like it's not really showing much. And then create new product template. So you can call this PDP test vid. Stuff. Disclaimer, my family runs a rug company, so I have this connected with our Shopify with all our rug products. So as a test, we're going to add some of them. Let's see, like this Zebra rug, Concord, and Rust. Okay, now we're going to create product template. Let that load. So now we have this in our template section. This is our product page template. As you can see here now, this will update according to the specific product. So when you make a product template, basically a lot of the design, it's going to be the same for your other products in your collection and your category that you're using that template for, except wherever you have dynamic product info. So at the top here, the product name is this Afshar AFS1 Multi. And you can see here now which product it's selected to. So if I go to another one like this. ACA one zebra black, you see the dynamic product info change. I have some defaults set in here, but normally the image should change too. The title should change. Prices should change. Variants should update because we have some rugs, different sizes, different variants. As you can see now, the size is updated here. You see here as well as mobile view. So this is a very simple, easy way to just update and make sure that your other products are going to use this template as well. And you can just get more bang for buck from product templates within Replo. And once you have a winning product page, just apply to as many products necessary and that you want to. Now, next we're gonna get into sections. So sections, this is where a bit of Shopify comes into play as well. So it's, we're gonna use a mix of Replo plus Shopify. So now to create sections, if we go back to this page, if I, I have different sections on this, let's say on this page, I wanna take the step section, okay? So that's right here how it works. And I want to just have this at specific parts on my Shopify pages, whether it's my homepage, collection page, product page, and just that specific section. So what I'll do here is I'll go to here. I'll click export to section. I'll call it steps test section. And make sure you want to check on editable in Shopify theme editor and then click export to section. 
So now we have here, you can see in sections tab, just this specific section. Now to get this showing live on your Shopify, you're gonna go here now. This is our Shopify store, so you would go to whatever your live theme is, click customize right here. So this is our home page, for instance. Now in home pages, it's pretty straightforward. You would just go to the bottom and you go here, add section. Yeah, it's not gonna come up because on my test replo, I'm not paying for it, so it's free, it's trial. So that's the main reason why it's not showing up here. So the replo and Shopify are connected, but on my replo plan, I'm currently not paying for the plan. It's just a draft plan. So if you're paying for replo, you would see your section that you've exported. It should be showing up here. And you can do the same here if you go to products and you go to default products. So this is like your default product, your themes default product page template you have on your Shopify. Let's say just keeping this the same, I wanna have that step section show up. It should be here too. This site, we redid it in 2020, 2021. So it's possible that that's the reason why you're not seeing sections show up here, but normally, just like the home page, it should be, you should see add a section here as well. Drawer menu as well, no, not there. But yeah, product pages here, so normally, there should be an option to add the section. Normally with newer themes, updated themes, it'll pop up on, on mine, it doesn't. But that's how you do it really. That's a quick rundown on Replo product page templates. And if you want it as well, let's say to save time, you wanted to do, you're more comfortable working with Shopify. And let's say you have Replo, but you don't wanna use it so much. You can even turn the whole page as a whole into a section. So let's say this page, I select all, just to export to section, and I will just have it as a PDP section test three, also editable, export to section. So now we have the whole PDP, the whole Replo PDP as a section. So that's if let's say you wanna just maybe hide it in your Shopify and just use this template as sections, that'll be the whole page in your Shopify editor you know, whatever their Shopify theme is, but everything below like benefits, UGC, facts sections, they'll have that. So maybe cut this off and just have everything below as one section and you would have it then adding that to your Shopify default themes, you know, your home pages, your collection pages, product pages here too. So yeah, that's just a quick rundown on Replo sections, how you can get more bang for buck from your Replo pages. Don't just think you need to reinvent the wheel with every page. If you want to, you can also just easily just duplicate, right click, just duplicate the page, or you can turn into a template and just have it blanket across your other products. There's a lot of ways you can do this with Replo and Shopify together. I wanted to just show you here to present you different options. I have a lot of clients, prospects, people DMing me all the time. Hey, how can I use Replo for more products? Yada, yada. I don't want to create a fresh new page for every single product. No, you do not need to do that. You can just duplicate, turn into a template, make it into a section, then add it on your Shopify. So yeah, if you guys have any more questions, let me know in the comments. Hope you found value in this. If you're interested in having me build out your pages for you on Shopify and Replo, there's a link in my description. Book a call using that link. Feel free to ask me any questions. And yeah, like I said, if you need any help, feel free to book a call. Let's chat. Let's get your Shopify and revenue up, your AOV up. Let me know if you have any questions. Check the link in the description as well. Cheers, guys. Have a great day.